How is it for you being kind of back in the team and scoring? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's the thing you work hard for, you know, every week. Um, whether I'm starting or come off the bench, I want to contribute to the squad and I said there was another factor of that. Yeah, if you look at the, the difference you've made in those, those two games when you come on, do you feel that you've always got something to prove when you come on at the moment to convince the manager to give you those regular starts? No, not really. I don't, I don't think I need to prove anything. You know, the manager is... The manager knows what I can do, whether it be starting or come off the bench, you know, I'll, I'll try and contribute as much as I can. Um, but it's not just about me, it's about the squad and, and I was trying to get positive results. Yeah, you say that about the whole squad. How is it at the moment? Because the results aren't going the way that you want. Do you, do you guys feel that pressure mounting a little bit after particularly the last three games? Listen, you're going to get pressure at a big club and just because we've had a couple of bad results doesn't mean, you know, the whole world is coming to an end, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, we've had a couple of bad results, but the most important thing is we're all together, we're all fighting for the same cause, and we we'll go again on Thursday. Lee, you spoke about those results and that, that you're working as a team. The manager said after the game on Sunday that he sensed a little bit of a lack of confidence or fragility from some of the players. Do you sense that in the dressing room? No, I don't think so. I think obviously when you're losing losing goals. It's it's not just the defence. I think it's it's a whole, the team as a whole and. You know, maybe we aren't getting the results that we deserve, but, you know, that's football. Um, we need to keep working hard and, you know, we've got another massive game first night we need to look forward to. Lee, you've been here before through some sticky patches. Not often, it has to be said, obviously, given Celtic's success record. Have you got any advice for the new guys in the Celtic squad who may be finding it a bit unusual, a bit difficult, perhaps even a bit hysterical around them at the minute? No, nah, not really. Just stick. Everybody just needs to stick together. I think the results will change. Um, Performance-wise, I don't think we've been too bad. I think you know against Rangers, you know Rangers deserve to win the game. They were better than us. And on Sunday, I thought we were a bit, we were the better side. Um, and we're unlucky not to come away with three points. So, you know, it's two performances that you know we look at, and it was disappointing one better than another. Um, but Thursday night, you know, we got another chance to rectify that. Is there a way that you guys get through this? Is there a, do you change your attitude? or What is the way to get through it? Just need to stick together. I keep saying it, it's an old cliche, but we need to stick together as a group and make sure that we're all fighting for the same cause. Um, the manager, you know, has said that we need to keep our heads up, keep, keep playing the way we're playing, and, you know, results are turn. Lee, can I ask you, um, Shane Duffy's come in for a fair bit of criticism. Um, have you noticed, is he, is he showing signs that the pressure of this, he's getting used to Celtic, you, you can't have slip-ups, and he's, he's openly admitted himself that he's, he's had a tough time since, uh, since arriving at Celtic? Yeah, but he's, he's got the full backing of, of everybody in the changing room, the management staff, the coaches, everybody here. Um, you know what the big man's all about. He's been playing the Premiership for a number of years now. I mean, you don't play in the Premiership if you're not a good player. So, you know, he's came up here and he's wanted to play games. And, you know, yeah, he's had a difficult start, but no doubt the big man will turn it around. From the perspective of the team and the results, do you feel as if it's a collective? There are, there are frailties elsewhere that are maybe not helping the defence? Yeah, of course. You know, we can't just blame the defence. You know, it's the whole start of 11 or, you know, the guys that come off the bench. It's not. You know, we're not going to single out individuals. You know, we win and lose as a lose together as a team. So, you know, if we lose or drop points, you know, it's everybody's everybody's fault. It's not just one person or or a couple. Do you get the feeling though that this is more on a knife edge? You now you you've sensed there. You've mentioned the fact that you have to deal with pressure every game with Celtic, but this is more on a knife edge every game now because Rangers are not slipping up. They're not, no. Um, but I think, you know, we're only two points away from our total that we were last year at this, at this stage. So, you know, we're not, we're not too far away and people think we're in a crisis. So, um, you see the run we went on after um, the turn of the year. So, you know, we'll just keep plugging away. We'll keep doing what we're doing, you know, try and rectify the results and, and hopefully we, the results turn our way. What's your frame of mind like? Because a lot of Celtic fans are looking at the goal you scored, the, the way you come on against St Johnston as well. They're looking for you to have a sustained run now. Do you are you embracing that challenge? Is that something that you want to take on? Yeah, listen, people have, have always got opinions, but you know the only opinions that matter to me are, are the coaching staff here, where they feel I'm ready to start the game or come off the bench to make a, a contribution. You know, I'll take it on the chin, whatever happens. Um, but you know, I'm ready to go. I'm training well every day, and you know, hopefully, I get that start. If not, you know, I'll, I'll do what I do against St Johnson and Aberdeen, try and come on and contribute and, and help the team get the three points. 
Hi, Lee Roman here. Uh, Lee, I wonder, uh, given what's at stake this season um, in terms of going for the 10, has it almost become an afterthought that you're still on course for a quadruple treble? Yeah, um, I think people are, people are forgetting that. But listen, we take each game as it comes. Um, you know, Sunday was a, a difficult one to take, and then we move on to Europa League, and you need to get that qualification campaign back on track. Um, we'll take care of that and then you know after Thursday night we'll look forward to Sunday and, and trying to get ourselves into another final Just on Aberdeen how much of a different team do you think they are uh, now to last season? Yeah they were they were well organised but we know what Derek McInnes has said they're all about you know they're well organised you know trying to attack especially with pace and the way they do and you know big Sam Cosgrove coming back is a, a big vocal point for them so you know, we're not all about physical sides, we want to get in your faces, but, you know, it's all about us as well and what we do. And if we turn it with a game, you know, we, we should be uh, in the final coming Sunday afternoon. Obviously, you want to do your bit for, for Celtic, but by doing your bit for Celtic, we, uh, how much are you eyeing Serbia as well? Serbia is that last point in my mind, to be honest. Um, I just want to get back into, into Celtic, start to live in it and make sure I'm, I'm playing well. Um, you know, if I get the call up, great. If not, you know, I wish the boys all the best. And just, just finally for me, Lee, you, you touched upon it like the, the defeat to Rangers last season uh, and then you went on that run. Is that your message to any fans that might be panicking, like, keep calm? Yeah, there's still a long way to go in the season. You know, we're only in October now. You know, the season doesn't, you know, trophies get handed out now. Um, you know, we've got a long way to go, a lot of games still to be played. You know, teams will drop points. Um, but, you know, we need to keep calm, keep focused and, and just take each game as it comes. Cheers. Lee, Lee, your um your finishing for your, your two goals that you scored um in recent weeks has been exemplary. It's obviously been pretty well documented the ups and downs that you've had personally recently. Where do you feel on that scale right now? Yeah, I feel good. Um I'm coming into training, working hard every day, trying to get my fitness levels up to make to the maximum that I can. Um and, and trying to put pressure on the gaffer to to play me in these games. Um but again I've got odds in Albion and Patrick breathing down my neck um, and it's, it's a difficult decision for the gaffer to, to make so listen we're all vying for that one jersey and, or two jerseys that we're looking forward to playing but if not you know we'll, we'll try and contribute as much as we can Lee um, it's great to, to hear you being so positive um, especially after a couple of the results we've had recently um, hopefully we'll carry that on into games you mentioned some of the coaching earlier on. During the summer, the coaching setup changed um, with Gavin Strachan coming in. Has the manager been a wee bit more hands-on this season with Damien Duff leaving, or has it been left to, to John and, and Gavin? No, listen, all the other coaches are out. You know, it's not just Gavin and coming in as well. It's Woods is there, Kendall's on the training pitch, the gaffer's there. You know, all of them are, are making sure we're doing everything perfect on the, on the training ground to make sure we're ready for games whenever that may be. And when it comes to games, um, what sort of um, tactics do you prefer? Are you preferring playing as the, the part of the two, or do you feel playing up a, as a lone striker would suit yourself better? And how does the, the dynamics work with the, the other strikers? Who do you feel you've got the best relationship with? Um, for me personally, as long as I'm playing in a starting 11, it, whether it be a one or a two, I think last season was well documented how, me, how well me and Odin linked up. But again, I've not had the chance to link up with Patrick or, or Albion for a sustained run of uh, games. So you know, that's something that you know, I would like to look forward to and explore. But you know, ultimately, it's up to the manager. And you know, we went back to one up front on Sunday. Um, and I thought we played well. So you know, whether we go with two or the one, you know, we've got quality everywhere. Thanks. Best of luck. Cheers. Lee, can I just... Can I just ask you, Lee, what message would you give to some erratic Celtic fans who, even after the last couple of defeats, are calling for the manager's head? Yes. Listen, again, I said it in the earlier on that, you know, we're only two points off of where last season at this stage. Um, so, you know, for the people to come out and call for the manager's head, it's, I think it's madness, to be honest. Um, we're still going for, you know, a treble from last season. Um, and again, we've qualified for Europe, so you know, for them to call for his head is, is ridiculous so far.